Hello everybody, my name is Lee and I'd like to welcome you to this video where we're now going to take a look at the ZBrush 2.5D Pixels. So let's begin by just taking a look at the difference between 2.5D Pixels you would find inside ZBrush and the traditional pixels you would find inside, say for instance, Photoshop. So in Photoshop, when you create an a, um, image or you bring in an image or you paint um, pixels onto the canvas, you are only creating color information. Now, when we uh, paint inside ZBrush, what we can create is not only color information that is controlled by the uh, material, but we can also paint depth information. So let me give you an example here. If I go ahead and left click and drag, you can see that we are going to create this, um, this stroke here. And we can see that in the corners right here and here and in the center, it looks as if the um, stroke has been risen. Now, to give a better example of this, I'm going to press the Control and N key, and this will clear the document. And I'm going to go ahead and change the alpha. So if we click this alpha and we change the alpha that's being used, then we will get a different appearance to our brush. So let's go ahead and, and recreate that, um, that stroke there. So let's just do something like this and create this C. See in the corners here where the brush was held just a slight um, second longer, that there is more depth information. But if we go ahead and paint over that with another stroke, we can see that as the um, strokes interact and um, intersect, they are uh, there. It is receiving more depth information here. So we can also, if we'd like, go ahead and paint a um, paint a stroke here, and whatever the last stroke is that we created, we can go ahead and we can move them. We can scale them and we can rotate them. So if we just move through these, you can see we have these shortcuts. So W, E, and R. So we can move them. So all we got to do is use the move tool and we can click anywhere within this gizmo and, and move this around. We can scale them. And in terms of scaling, we can only scale this um, like this. So you can see as we move around, we can scale this. There we go. And we can also, if we like, go ahead and rotate this so we can rotate this around. Now, as we are rotating this, as you can see, as it is intersecting with the other strokes, then you can see that there is more depth information being added here. So let's go back and go to the draw. And if we like, we can press the Alt key and this will remove depth information. So you can see we can paint the depth information away. There we go. Now, lastly, we can, if we like, go ahead and click the um, current tool here. And if we click that, we're going to be presented with this bottom section where it says 2.5D brushes. If we choose a different brush type, then we're going to get a different appearance to how our strokes appear. So if we go over to this one, for instance, and paint, we can see that we're getting a slightly different appearance with our strokes. So we're getting this bubbled effect. Or we can go ahead and say, for instance, go with um, say something like this. Let's see. Let's paint this. So you can see we're erasing them. Um, we can go ahead and choose, you know, just really choose any of these and we can go ahead and play around with uh, what they do. So, you know, just I encourage you to go ahead, look at these different brushes, um, choose them, paint on the canvas and see what results they give you. So lastly, let's go ahead and press the control N and clear the canvas. And I'd like to um, pause this video here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.